everybody welcome back to the summer term in prep two it's your last half term in prep two before you go up to prep three how exciting it's a little bit different to what we had expected it to be but we will work with it and we have got some brilliantly fun things for you to do starting off this week we've got a really fun science experiment which i know you're going to love it's really fun i've just had a go at it myself and i got very excited you've also got a fantastic challenge in english this week and in maths you're going to be telling the time and oh what else have we got on awesome oh, kings and queens in your topic lesson we've got lots of fun things to explore and that's just the first week now for your science work over the next few weeks I would really love to know any topics or science questions you would like to answer. So this week, your science lesson is all about the question, how would I blow up a balloon or how would I inflate a balloon without blowing it up? Now there is an investigation and an experiment for you to do. You might need to make sure that you've got some vinegar and some bicarbonate of soda and a plastic bottle and a balloon for this experiment. If you can't get hold of those, don't worry, I've filmed it for you. But if you can get the chance to have a go, it's really, really good fun. If you've got any questions or things that you might like to investigate in science, you can leave me a comment on Google Classroom on this assembly tab, or you can send me an email or get your parents to get in touch somehow and I will see what I can do. We've got five more weeks after this one and I will try my best to include as many of the ideas as I can. I wonder, did any of you watch the space launch that happened over this weekend? It was last night when I'm filming this. And I sat and watched it and it was so fascinating about these astronauts that were leaving the planet to go to the International Space Station. And it was a completely different way of working to how the spaceships normally would take off because it was made by a different company. But it got me thinking about, at the moment, we're kind of, we're being allowed out a bit more now, aren't we? But we're still largely staying at home. And I thought, wow, for those astronauts, they're actually leaving the planet. And I wonder how you would feel if you were able to leave the planet. Would you like to go? Would you like to be an astronaut? It's always something that fascinated me, but I don't think I'd ever be brave enough to have a go myself. Maybe you would like to have a think as well about what you would do if you were an astronaut. What things would you be excited to see from space? Lots of different ideas. Now I'm going to read for you a story and it's about a meerkat. So it sounds like it's unrelated, but I promise there is a link there. It's a book called Meerkat Mail and it's about a meerkat who's had enough of being trapped with his family doing everything together and he goes off to explore the world to see if he can find somewhere better and I think the sentiment in this book is quite a good one because it probably shows how many of us are feeling at the moment. I hope you had a really lovely half term. I've had quite a nice half term, I'm in my new house there's lots and lots of boxes right over there, so don't look. Um, but I did manage to have a bit of an accident myself. So it's not a big all singing, all dancing assembly today, I'm afraid, because I managed to fall over and I've been on crutches for the whole of half term. So I'm OK. I've just had a really nasty sprain and my foot is all kinds of funny colours. It's gone a nice slime green today with the bruise. So that's really nice. So I'm hoping I'll be back on my feet properly very soon so I can do some more fun things with you. Um, so everything that I have been able to do over half term has been from a sitting position like I'm in now. So there you go. We have high hopes, don't we? But sometimes these things are sent to try us. And that's been my experience over half term. But I'm hoping you didn't have any silly accidents like me. All I did was fall out of the back door. What a wally. Typical Mrs Loudon, right? So I'm now going to read you Meerkat Mail. It's a lovely, lovely book. I hope you enjoy it. I will see you soon. I've got lots of videos this week coming up for you. And I will see you at our class Zoom meeting later on in the week. 
and I will pop the link for that in the Google Classroom really, really soon. Bye everybody, I'll see you soon. This is the story that I thought would be an appropriate one for this week. And it's really, really fun and beautifully illustrated. It's called Meerkat Mail and it's by Emily Gravitt. Sunny lives in the Kalahari Desert. It is very dry and very hot. Sometimes Sunny thinks it is too hot. Sunny comes from a large family. They work together, play together, eat together, learn together and sleep together. In fact, they do everything together. They are very close. Sometimes Sunny thinks they are too close. Sometimes Sonny wishes that he could live somewhere else, so he packs his suitcase and writes his family a note. Dear everyone, I'm off to find somewhere perfect to live. Don't worry, Mum, I'll be staying with our mongoose relatives, so we'll be quite safe. Love from Sonny. P.S. I promise to write. On Monday, Sonny visits his Uncle Bob. African red hornbill. Warning, mongoose of danger. To mum and dad, it's a lot like being at home here, except that I'm the biggest. Hooray! The weather is sunny and the food is fantastic. Lots of scorpions. Yum! Best thing is, no one has to keep lookout because there's this bird which goes squawk when there is danger. I told Uncle Bob our family motto is stay safe, stay together. He told me theirs is run and hide from Sunny. Uncle Bob's family make him very welcome. But Sonny just doesn't fit in. So, on Tuesday, Sonny goes to stay with his cousins, Scratch and Mitch, and the rest of their family. Greetings from Banded Mongoose Country. Dear Mum and Dad, we have been living in an old termite mound, but we are moving. There is plenty to eat. Yours ticklishly, Sonny. Sonny is getting itchy feet. He decides it's time to move on. On Wednesday, he arrives at his cousin Edward's. Hello from the farm. Dear mum, dad, granddad and grandma. I'm staying on a farm. Ed's favourite food is chicken. I haven't tried it yet, but I've had plenty of eggs. Tell Mickey they're not as good as scorpions. Love from Sonny. Sonny is not at all sure that eggs totally agree with him. On Thursday, he heads off to stay with his cousins, Mildred and Frank. Dear Mum, Dad and everyone, it's raining, quite hard. Hope the weather is better at home. Loads of love from Sonny. <laughs> Rainy. P.S. Great Aunt Maureen was right. I should have packed an umbrella. Sonny hates getting wet, so he decides to leave. By Friday evening, Sonny has reached Madagascar. Dear all, arrived at Auntie B's and Uncle Rob's. It is very late and very dark. I think it may be past my bedtime. Aunt B and Uncle Rob don't seem to have noticed. I am leaving, as soon as it gets light. Yawns faithfully, wish you were here, Sonny. Sonny is afraid of the dark. He can't think of anything worse. Until on Sunday, or until on Saturday, he arrives at Great Aunt Flo's. Dive in self-service restaurant. Dearest family, Great Aunt Flo lives in her own, in a marsh. It's dark and wet. The food is disgusting, slimy. And I'm really lonely, cold and tired. I really, really, really wish you were here. Or that I was not. All my love, kisses and snuggles, soggy Sunny. Sunny is beginning to worry that nowhere is right for him. 
but then on sunny on but then on Sunday, Sunny arrives somewhere very dry and very hot, where everyone is very close. I'm home! And it's perfect. Welcome home. Stay safe, stay together. And here we go, there's loads of pictures of Sunny's different adventures. I hope you enjoyed that book. I'll see you soon, Prep 2. Bye-bye.